diving into my Van Halen collection again. There's been a few of these videos. I'll warn you now, there's going to be a few more coming up, but uh, hope you enjoy it. I like digging into this and showing some of the stuff I collected over the years. They were my favorite band growing up. And, uh, you know, I spent a bit of money collecting stuff uh, around that band. And today we're going to be talking about the uh, import CDs that I have. Most of them revolve, most of them revolve around the, uh, the original six albums or the best of volume one because I wasn't collecting stuff like this that much for the Hagar version of the band. You know, I, I like the band. I've just never been a fan of him. So, I don't know, I just didn't have the drive to collect stuff, you know, from uh, the band. I bought the albums and stuff, but I wouldn't go out and really necessarily pick up. I have a couple things, but I wouldn't really necessarily pick up uh, the stuff from that version of the band. So anyways, let's get going. First up is the Japanese Van Halen box, 1978-1984, with all the first six albums. I talked about this when I... Um, did my uh, little tribute video to Eddie Van Halen when he passed away, uh, unfortunately, in 2020. Uh, so I'm not going to dig too deep into that. I'll put a link below to the, that video if you want to check it out. But I've never even opened these. But it's basically just the first six albums, a little booklet with some lyrics and stuff in it. And there's a little container here that's got some, uh, like, a little keychain and stuff. It's all in that other video. I opened it up and everything. But... They put out one of these for the Hagar version of the band, too, um, but I didn't pick that up. Um, it was pretty expensive from what I remember. I don't know what they go for these days, but that's the Van Halen Japan box set. Also from Japan, and also something I think I talked about in that Eddie Van Halen tribute video, are these six uh, mini LP CDs of the, uh, the original six albums. And these are really cool. I thought they did a really good job on these. Um, really kind of did a great job recreating all the, like, the sleeve inside and everything, and the CDs are made to look like the original Warner Brother labels, and Women and Children First even has the little, a mini version of a little poster that came with that, but, uh, in the 1984, they even, you know, did the, uh, back upside down, like it was originally, but, uh, Really cool. Like, I really uh, am glad I picked these up. I kind of hesitated for a while, but then eventually I saw them pretty cheap, and I just said, screw it, and I bought them. But they're pretty cool, these uh, Japanese mini LP CDs. I hate to say it, but I think I talked about this in the Eddie Van Halen tribute video, too. This was uh, put out with uh, when Gary Sharon was in the band. This, I guess, was 98. Came out. Um, uh, this is a uh, uh, mini 3-inch CD for Fire in the Hole, and it also has uh, You Really Got Me on it, which I, because it, it's, it's tied to like a car, a uh, Nissan car, and they did that commercial, which I thought was in like 96 with You Really Got Me um, on it, but uh, you can see it's just one of those three little three inch CDs that you needed like an adapter to play on your CD player or whatever. This was a, kind of a really odd uh, thing that occurred back in the 90s, these three-inch CDs. I don't, I don't know what, I mean, I think they were made for, like, singles and stuff, but, uh, I don't really know what the thought was behind them. It seemed kind of like a waste in a way, but that's kind of a cool thing. The only thing I have for Van Halen 3. Now we have this Japanese Best of Volume 1 version. This has, um, I believe this has Hot for Teach, or not Hot for Teacher, um, Oh yeah, I think Hot for Teacher. I don't, I don't think Hot's in this kind of plastic slip case. And this little booklet with the lyrics. But I think, wasn't Hot for Teacher not originally? It's got the whole discography, even Van Halen 3 is listed here. This was put out, this was put out, I think, uh, years later, obviously. With, but uh, as sort of like a, you know, like a... Price Buster kind of CD collection. It has Hopper Teacher on it, which I don't think was on the original. Was was it on the original Best of? I don't remember. I don't think it was. But uh, anyways, this is the Japan. The CD otherwise is pretty pretty much the same. Also from Japan, this was like a pre-release Greatest Hits coming soon. This doesn't have Hot for, or it does have Hot for Teacher on it. It doesn't have the two tracks they did with Dave on it. 
So I, I don't know if this was going to be put out originally as the, uh, this was going to be like the track listing before they knew that Dave was going to be there. It's kind of promoting Twister. So, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting. It was kind of like it was in the works before the whole thing happened in 1996. And then we have, again, around the Best of Volume 1, we've got the Mini Best release, uh, which has got Top of the World and Jump and Panama on it. And then it's got karaoke versions of Top of the World and Jump, which in karaoke, they're just, you know, the instrumental, they have the vocals removed from it, and inside it's got this gold cover, it's, you know, nothing fancy, and let's see if there's, I don't know if the booklet has anything, really, and it's just got the lyrics, a lot of times I find there's the little, whatever they call it, o OBI's thing on the corner, it's advertising a Van Halen Zippo lighter. But I find a lot of times with the lyrics in these Japanese imports that if you look at the lyrics, they have a tendency to have like a, the translations off. You know, there's always like a word or two where it's like, what the heck? But uh, that's kind of interesting. Van Halen Mini Best, it was called. And we've got the import. This is from Germany. Uh, Jump that was released as a CD single uh, at the release of Best Of Volume 1 and that's all that's on here is just Jump. Kind of cool. I mean for me, a fan of the original band, when Best Of Volume 1 came out, obviously I was kind of excited. There were some of these little things like this that I definitely was going to go out and collect, being that I hadn't really been collecting the Hagar stuff there, so I wasn't really running out and buying Van Halen stuff so much. So it was kind of cool when this came out because it gave me some new things to kind of purchase and put in the collection. And of course, the big first reunion single from Best of Volume 1, Me Wise Magic. This is, where's this from? Germany as well. This is from Germany as well. Um, this is a CD single. It's got Me Wise Magic an edit version, and then the album version, and then also has Why Can't This Be Love on it. Um, I think I listened to the edit version, and they just, I think they just kind of remove maybe some of the guitar solo, which would be, seems weird that you would do that, but, uh, or maybe it fades out sooner, I don't remember, but it, I, I think I remember listening to it much and didn't really notice that huge of a, of a difference either. But anyways, that's me wise magic. I always thought this was kind of a cool cover. I almost would have thought this would have been a cool cover for the best of volume one. The album cover is so bland. I always thought maybe this would have been kind of a cooler artwork for it. This kind of monk or whatever it is. And like I mentioned, I do have a little bit of Sammy Hagar uh, Van Halen stuff. This is the CD single for top of the world put out in what, Germany? Yeah, Germany, Europe, Germany, whatever. Um, uh, I got some little sticker residue on the cover here. This is uh, the this, uh, this CD single for Top of the World. Uh, this has four tracks on it, Top of the World, When It's Love and Dreams, and it also has an extended remix of Why Can't This Be Love, which I think you can find on like 12, it was on the 12 inch vinyl import back in the day, back in 86, but uh, you know, I got this as a gift. I, I don't know. I got it as a gift. I don't know if I would have bought it, but, uh, you know, it's still kind of cool. Good song, too. I'm, I, I can admit that was a good tune. I like that one. And we have one more CD single from the Sammy Hagar era. This is from Germany as well. This is Pound Cake, uh, 1991, off of For Unlawful Carnal Knowledge. It has Pound Cake and Pleasure Dome. And then it, the third track is an interview with the band, um, which, uh, wasn't for broadcast. It was only for here. I have put this interview up on YouTube, so I'll put a link down below to it so you can take a listen. I think it's pretty short, maybe five or six minutes, I think. Um, but it's the band, you know, talking about the, uh, it's the whole band. They're talking about this album coming out. And finally, one more around Best of Volume 1. This is another version of Jump a CD single. This was, has Jump, House of Pain, and Ain't Talking About Love on it. And again, this was promoting the Best of Volume 1 
collection. Um, I think the artwork inside is pretty standard, but you know, it's kind of cool that they actually, you know, did something with this. This could have easily been like the other one and just said, had the logo and just said jump, but they put these nuns jumping out of the ocean in there. And you know, these Europe ones, they always have the white case. There's the artwork. Van Halen and the booklet is probably pretty. Oh, this is Japan. I'm sorry, not Germany. This is Japan. So it's got the lyrics in there as well. I get up and nothing gets me down. I was trying to see if, can you see, me? see if there was a, a mistake I could point out anyways. But uh, so that's it for Van Halen. I don't have a ton, but that's the uh, entirety of my Van Halen CD imports. And I appreciate you watching. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know some of the other import singles maybe that you have CD imports. I'll do another one on import vinyl that I have, uh, but that'll be another day. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe and like the video, and by all means, we'll see you next time.